Let's now move on to our fourth and final main topic today, shall we? And our fourth and final main topic today gets submitted to us by Richard Fleming, who writes, Hey, John. So DC fandom has split into two separate days that are three weeks apart, which is idiotic. It is rather strange. I'll admit that. Uh, but I'm still looking forward to it. I wanted to know what you think the main announcement slash trailers are going to be that we're going to get on the 22nd. Also, did you see the special to be announced panel is now gone? Hmm. Anyway, what do you think? All right. Thanks for saying that in, man. And of course, one of the bigger things coming up on the on, you know, the fan sphere calendar is, of course, DC fandom that is happening on Saturday. It's just a few days away now. Now, while it honestly doesn't look like much of a fan event to me, it does look like it's going to be spectacular in terms of announcements and footage that they're going to show. What is interesting here is that if you guys remember a couple of days ago, Robert Meyer Burnett and I were on here and we were, you know, being really critical of the fact that you look at a lot of these panels that they're doing, like Wonder Woman 84, which Wonder Woman 84 is fine. That one's like a 25 minute panel. That's like the longest one, but like Aquaman, the Aquaman panel, you know, the panel for Aquaman is 10 minutes. Yeah. 10 minutes. That's not a fan event. Mm -mm. That's. That's freaking, that's just a press release. That's just a glorified press conference. You're making, you're dressing it up and pretending it's a fan event, but it's just a glorified press conference. Well, well, a couple of things have changed. Number one, that one to be announced panel is gone. I don't really think that affects anything. I honestly don't. I think whatever they were going to announce in that to be announced panel, I think they'll just announce it as a part of another panel. I really do. So I don't really think that affects anything, to be honest with you. The other thing that sort of changed though is they've split it into two days and they've moved one to three weeks later. Why three weeks? I have no, that is kind of stupid. Why, why it's not just the next day. It's all pre-recorded nonsense anyway. Three weeks away, but whatever, they are. But here's what's interesting. What's really interesting is, and I don't know if this is new or I don't know if this was there before and none of us noticed it. But you'll notice that on Sunday, or on Saturday, September the 12th, we have things like a Q&A with the cast of Suicide Squad. It's not going to be part of the Suicide Squad panel. That's, that's coming up in a couple of days. But in three weeks, they're doing a Q&A Suicide Squad panel. They're doing a fan Q&A with the cast and crew of the movie of The Flash. They're doing a fan Q&A with the cast and crew of Shazam. So while they're doing these panels in a few days that are only really short, now they're also doing these things. Now, these may have been there before, but me and a few other people were talking about how I had no idea this was there, and nobody had mentioned this to me. So I don't know if this is new or if this is just there already. To me, this is great. This is great news. Because what this does, look, fan Q&A with the cast and crew of the WB series, a fan Q&A of the cast and crew of Wonder Woman 84. This is fabulous because what this does here is this addresses what my critiques were about the panel. It's like, come on, you're calling it a fan event? Let the fans interact. You're calling it a fan event. Have them take questions from the audience, blah, blah, blah. And otherwise it's just a press event. But if they're going to have this, honestly, that makes me happy. That, that, to me, that solves everything. This is exactly, this now to me, this makes it a true fan event. Before it wasn't. Now it is. This is now a fan event. I think it's wonderful that they're doing this. Why they don't just all wrap it up into one thing, I don't know. You had them all there anyway, but they've split it into two things. That's fine too. It addresses it. One thing, let me do say this though. Let me say this. One thing that I find kind of funny, I don't know if you've noticed this, Aaron, but fans, sports, movies, TV, Harry Potter, DC, Star Wars, fans can be very apologetic about the thing that is the source of their fandom. Like they will defend no matter how ridiculous, how stupid, how dumb something that the object of their fandom does, they'll find a way to defend it. We all do it. All fans do it. I particularly find, I got to say, 
that Marvel and DC fans in particular do this. And you know I am both a Marvel and a DC fan, but I find Marvel and DC fans are very quick to be apologists for this. Let me just give you this example. I'm a part of a couple of online discussion groups, right? I'm sure many of us are. And I remember I was in this online discussion group with some with some people that I that I chat with. After Rob and I did that show, really criticizing DC fandom for the fact that 10 minute panels, that's not a fan event, right? And we, we were complaining about it. And I had these people saying to me, oh, come on, John. It's, no, it's perfect. 10 minutes is perfect. <laughs> I, we don't need, we want all killer, no filler. 10 minutes is perfect. That's a, that's a perfect. I just want to hear the announcements and the things. And like my argument was, well, yeah, but then it's not a fan event. It's just a press release. Blah. But I had... I had these these friends of mine who were in these chat forums saying, John, it's perfect. 10 minutes is perfect. This is exactly what it should be. Then, last night, as we were in there talking about these things being there, because they didn't notice that this was there before either. So again, I, I, I'm i right now, I don't know if this is new or if it was there before and they just didn't notice it. But these people I was talking with, they didn't notice it before either. These same people who just a couple of days earlier were telling me, oh, no, 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 10 minutes is perfect. This is exact. I don't want it to be longer than that. I don't want it to be longer than that. 10 minutes is perfect. When we noticed this, they were like, oh, isn't this amazing? <laughs> we get the longer Q&A with the fans. Like, more, filler, more filler, more <laughs> filler. Wait a minute, time out. Two days ago, you were telling me you didn't want it to be longer, that it was perfect. Oh, but now that they're doing this stuff, now that they're doing the Q&A, now they're doing the Q&A is perfect. Anyway. I swear to God, Marvel and DC fans would find a way because I find I find both equally do this, and I'm a part of both. But I find both equally do this. Marvel and DC fans, if Kevin Feige or Zack Snyder, for that matter, walked up and spunked in their mother's face, oh, they would come up really, with a way of saying, John. "Oh, but it's going to be good for her skin. Oh, yeah, Lord. yeah, it's great. It's going to be wonderful. Think about the the, the nutrients and the moisturizer. It's going to be wonderful. Oh, Seriously, no. that's what they would do." That's what they would do. If, if Kevin Feige or doesn't matter what Kevin Feige does, doesn't matter what anybody at DC does, if they could do the stupidest, dumbest thing and the Marvel the people and the DC people will come up with a way to defend it and say, no, no, it's perfectly good. It's perfectly fine. I think this stuff is all fantastic because I think this stuff here addresses every single concern I was voicing the other day. All the problems I had with the way they were handling that, this is an answer to all of that. And I think this is fantastic. And I'm very excited now for honestly, even though I think it's dumb that they're doing it three weeks later, mm -hmm. I am personally obviously very excited, number one, to hear what the announcements and the trailers are. But I am also very excited. I love these Q&A things. I eat these things up. So I'm very excited to see what they're going to be doing here with these Q&A things. Now, as far as what are they going to announce? What are they going to announce? Let's talk about that for a moment, about what are going to be the things that they do announce and what are going to be the, the pieces of footage that they do show, okay? I want us to look at a couple of possibilities, and then I want us to break them into one of five categories. Not going to happen, unlikely, maybe, likely, absolutely. Okay, so those are going to be, the, we're going to take every one of these things and break them down into those little categories here. So, okay, so let's bring up the, the, the classroom here, shall we? On, let's bring up the classroom. <laughs> oh, wow. PowerPoint. I love it. So let's look at a couple of things here first. Let's start, let's start with a few. Let's start with these ones. Justice League trailer. Of course, this is the Snyder Cut trailer. Henry Cavill's return to Superman being announced or a Black Adam antagonist being announced. Justice League, Zack Snyder's Justice League trailer, that's an absolute. I mean, they, they've already announced that that's going to be coming. They've already announced that that's going to be happening. So with the Justice League trailer, we'll call that one A for absolute. Absolute. Henry Cavill's return as Superman. I'm going to call that likely. I'm going to give that uh, a, a likely. I still believe, even though they're, not, they're no longer doing the... Uh, to be announced panel, I still believe Henry Cavill's return to Superman is going to be announced. Look, we already know because of the major trades that DC and Henry Cavill were in negotiations for his return to Superman. I think they will make it official. But again, I'm not going to call it absolutely. I'm going to call it likely. Black Adam antagonist. I'm also going to list that one as likely. You know, we are getting a Black Adam panel. I believe we're going to hear 
what is going on with Black Adam because we're obviously Black, but John Black Adam's a villain. Remember, he's going to be an anti-hero in this thing. So we're going to have an antagonist for Black Adam. And so I think that one is likely. All right, let's move on to the next three things and break these ones down. The Flash movie will be announced with a title and the basic concept of the movie, a new Wonder Woman 84 trailer, and Wonder Woman 3 being announced. All right, as far as the Flash thing, I'm going to say absolutely. They're doing a panel for the new Flash movie. At minimum, you got to give us a title and the basic idea about what the movie is. Not some in-depth synopsis or anything, but I think they're at least going to give us the basic idea, whether they're going to call it Flashpoint or whatever. I think it is an absolute that we're going to get the title, and I think it's an absolute we're going to get the basic idea. Beyond that, I'm not quite sure. Wonder Woman 84 trailer, a new one. You know what? I was going to say likely before, but I just heard that there is actually a new Wonder Woman 84 trailer that they're going to be putting in theaters. Um, and so I have absolutely no doubt that the first place, you can't have DC fandom right. and not <clears throat> debut this trailer there. So I'm going to go so far as to say, and you know, I can't wait to see what Patty Jenkins is going to do with that one. I'm going to give that one an absolute. As far as Wonder Woman 3 being announced, I'm going to call that likely. And the reason I'll call it likely is because we already heard Patty Jenkins say publicly that she plans on doing another Wonder Woman movie after this one. One more and one more only. Like she said, three and then I'm done. But she's already said publicly she's going to do that. So I think the announcement of Wonder Woman 3, I'm going to call likely. All so right. can you, I'm sorry, to, what is yeah. the difference between Patty Jenkins saying I'm going to do a third Wonder Woman and the announcement of a third Wonder Woman? What's the difference between those two things? I think one goes from concept to, to actually the, the studio comes up and says, yep, we're going to do it. Okay. I, I think so. I, I, so I think that is likely because we've, we've heard lots of directors before say, sure. I'm going to do this. And yeah. then it never actually happens. So I think they're actually going to announce. Remember, Wonder Woman 84 was already supposed to be in theater. So I think they're ready to probably announce another one. All right. Next three, just got a couple more to go here. Next three, first Batman teaser footage, CW Flash announces that the next season is going to be the final season, and Aquaman 2 gets a title and basic synopsis announced. All right, as far as the first Batman footage goes, I'm going to give that one an absolute. Uh, yeah, they're, they're definitely, look, they showed the first teaser trailer for Guardians of the Galaxy at Comic-Con when they had only been shooting Guardians of the Galaxy for one week. This Batman movie has had seven weeks of shooting and months of time to prep some kind of sizzle reel. So, <laughs> and not to mention the Batman panel at DC Fandom is the longest panel they have. It's 30 minutes long. I think you got to say it's an absolute that we're going to get Batman teaser, either a teaser or footage or whatever. CW Flash, I've heard it being floated that this next season of Flash is going to be the final season. The lead actor for Flash, Grant Gustin, he's entering the final year of his contract. You know, we already saw the Arrow come to an end. They've got other ideas for shows. So there's that. I'm going to give this one a U. I'm going to say it is unlikely. I'm not going to say it's impossible because you're right. Grant Gustin is in the final year of his contract. Yes, we just saw Arrow finish its run as well. Maybe it's time to put this movie. It, it hasn't been as good as it has been in years past, although I really did like this last season. But I, I think it is unlikely. Not no chance, but unlikely that they're going to say that this next season of Flash is the final season. Aquaman, getting a title? I don't know. James Wan's busy right now. So I'm not going to say absolute. I think they may talk more at the Aquaman panel just about the original Aquaman movie. But I still think there's a chance. So I'm going to call it likely that Aquaman 2 gets an official title and we hear some. Not an absolute, but I'm still going to say it's likely. All right, final two things here for us to look at. And I'm sure there are going to be others that you guys can bring up in the chat. Our first look at Suicide Squad. I'm going to go so far as to say absolute. Either it's footage or a teaser. James Gunn is rap principal photography on this thing. Again, when he shot the first Guardians of the Galaxy, they had a teaser to show at Comic-Con after one week of shooting. They finished principal photography. I don't see any reason why they don't show us a full... Uh, again, either a teaser or a big scene or something. I do think it's absolute we're going to get um, our first look at Suicide Squad. And first Batman footage. Well, I didn't I just already do that? Yeah, I don't know why I put that in there again. So we'll take that one out. First Batman footage already established. So here's what I think. Justice League trailer, we all know that that's absolute. Henry Cavill return to Superman, I think that's likely. Black Adam antagonist, likely. Flash movie title, 
Uh, absolutely, I'm saying. New Wonder Woman 84 trailer, we already know that that's done, so that's an actual fact. We can check that one off. Wonder Woman 3 gets announced. Not absolute, but I think it's likely. First Batman teaser footage, absolutely. Flash season, final season announcement, I think that is unlikely. Aquaman 2 title gets a... Uh, uh, gets uh, get its a title in the basic synopsis. I think, again, not absolute, but I think it's likely. And our first look at Suicide Squad, I got to go absolute. So let me pass this over to you. Uh, let's see what you have to say about this, Aaron. Okay. Let's run you through this list. So give us a, you know, never going to happen, unlikely, maybe, likely, absolute. Oh, geez. <clears throat> so we'll start with the okay. Justice League trailer. I mean, we that, that's already forward yep. conclusion, mm -hmm. right? So that, that's there. I haven't had a chance to talk to you about Henry Cavill's return to Superman. That they announced Henry Cavill is coming back as Superman and he's going to be either in The Flash or Black Adam or he's got a new standalone Superman movie or whatever, but they're announcing his return. You know what? All I like, can you see the joy on my face? Because I cannot wait to go home and because. Tom, my husband. I'm not going to ask why you can't wait to go home thinking about Henry Cavill. I'll, I'll leave that to you. So, whatever. He's already said he's never going to put the Superman King on again. He's never going to put the costume on again. He's not going to do it. There's not going to be another Avengers. Be I mean, he, like, he just gave me the mamma. Like, it was nonstop about how. And so, um, and Tom well, and to I. To be fair, it, they did make it look like he wasn't coming back before. They, I they know, really did. So, but it's I was like, defense. obviously, I said. He's going to put on the cape again. It's going to happen in some way. No, he's not. He's not. He's not, he's not. Um, so there's like, I'm, I'm going to have a little bit of joy whenever I get to go home and be like, see, see. But where do you rank it? <clears throat> Is it do you think it's absolute? Do you think it's likely? Maybe? Yeah, I think it's very likely. Maybe I think it's, it's okay, I think it's very likely. likely on mm -hmm. that. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's go to The Rock now for a second. Black Adam. That they're going to announce who the antagonist in the upcoming Black Adam movie, of course, they said was happening. Mm -hmm. Five years ago is when they first announced The Rock. <laughs> Five years ago is when they first told us The Rock was going to be Black Adam. Do you? What do you think the chances are that they are going to tell us who his foil is going to be in that movie? Um, I well, I what is below most uh, very maybe. likely? I think maybe they're going to give us something. I don't necessarily know if it's going to be the antagonist. Maybe it's a first look. Maybe it's a little you know uh, some sort of not a teaser, obviously because they haven't shot anything. But you know, I, I feel like I don't know if it's going to be the antagonist, but I feel like they're going to obviously tease us with something. All right, then let's look at the Flash. They we get a title and a synopsis for the upcoming Flash movie, which they have not started shooting yet. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to go likely or absolute? Um, absolute. You're going to go absolute on that. Yeah. Okay. Wonder Woman 84 trailer. Well, they've already, we, we know that's coming, so we, we can go, go by that. That they officially announced that Wonder Woman 3 is officially happening. What would you say to that one? So I don't think it'll happen the first weekend because I think they're going to want to have that exclusively for Wonder Woman 84 trailer. And, &A? Oh. and oh, okay. But then I think that they'll... As, as the Wonder Woman 84 trailer starts uh, rolling out in theaters, then they're going to announce it on the September 12th. Okay, so you're saying you don't think they're going to announce it on this Saturday. I think they're going to... Uh, I would want to have this Saturday exclusively for Wonder Woman 84, keep all the focus on that, not try to dilute the enthusiasm over 84 trailer, and then have something following it up so that you would just keep the, the conversation we keep wonder woman in the conversation at not only this first one this saturday but also the follow-up on the 12th that would be when i would announce it all right first batman footage or teaser trailer gets released absolutely yeah i, I just can't see them especially with absolutely. it being the longest panel in 30 minutes i can't yeah. see them all right them announcing that the upcoming flash season which of course is a show you've appeared on will be the final season i don't know so you're gonna go? Are you gonna say maybe on that? You know what? I, I you know, um, <clears throat> I, I, I hate to say it like this to be, because it sounds really pessimistic. And I'm sorry, I keep clearing my throat. I have something, but I am seeing a lot of actors, and Grant Gustin may be so done with this costume, but. There, I've seen a lot of actors who have s said I'm done with this show after this season that all of a sudden because of a lot of the uncertainty that's going on saying you know what they threw me a whole bunch of money and I decided to sign on for another year or another two years. I'm not a hundred percent that the show is going to end this season. I could be wrong but I would not be surprised if we saw one more season or two more seasons. Okay. Aquaman 2. Gets a, of course, which have not started shooting, James Wan. Aquaman 2 gets a title and a synopsis. Nah, I don't think so. Really? Gonna go, so you think they're just gonna focus more on the original Aquaman and talk about that? I, I just, I, I mean, 
Sorry, I honestly, I don't know enough about Aquaman 2 or what's going on with Aquaman at all to be even have a, a perspective on that. All right, first look at, we get our first footage of suicide, James Gunn's Suicide Squad. I think so, yeah. All right, so that's yeah. where we're at. So guys, just to highlight, uh, at least I didn't write, I should have written, oh damn, I should have written down uh, your things. But just to highlight my thing, I'm saying Justice League trailer's an absolute. Henry Cavill's return is likely. Black Adam antagonist, likely. Flash movie, uh, getting a title and, and a synopsis, absolute. New Wonder Woman 84 trailer, absolute. Wonder Woman 3 announcement, likely. Uh, first Batman footage, absolute. CW Flash being announced as its final season coming, I think it's unlikely. Aquaman 2 gets a title and basic idea, I'll go likely. And first look at Suicide Squad, I will say is an absolute the question is for you guys what do you think about that and i was so wanting to know what you guys thought about this we even made this the topic of today's Ooh. question of the day so just before the show started here i put up a poll on the community tab of the youtube channel and by the way if you're not signed up already make sure you click that subscribe button become a subscriber to the youtube channel and be kept up to date and get notified even when we put up new posts in the community tab and just before the show started i asked you guys this question question of the day which of the following long shot uh, announcements do you think will actually be announced at Fano? So unlikely, but long shots. I asked you, and I gave you guys five options. Black Adam a villain is announced. CW Flash is entering his final season. Michael Keaton's standalone Batman movie is announced. Uh, ben Affleck's return is announced. And Justice League 2 is announced. Now, these are all long shots, but I want to know what you guys think. Right now, about 4,300 of you guys have voted already. 32% of you are saying... Out of all these possibilities, Black Adam announcing a villain is the most likely. That's 32% of you guys. I am shocked to see that the second highest votes came for Ben Affleck returning. I think that is a pipe dream. Yeah, uh, I mean, never going to happen. You want to see me stand in the middle of a public square and piss myself? <laughs> Tell me Ben Affleck's coming back as Batman. <laughs> I will lose all control of my bodily fluids. But I just don't. That's just. I just don't see that happening. God, it would be awesome if it did. But that's not. But still. Almost a little more than one out of every five of you think it is. Uh, next up in third place, CW's Flash is entering its final season. In fourth place, 15% of you guys are thinking that Justice League 2 is indeed coming. And coming in last, 14% of you are thinking they may announce a Michael Keaton standalone Batman movie. I will, of course, leave that poll up there on our uh, community tab. Go on in there and cast your vote, guys. And if, just give your thoughts at all on what's going on here with DC Fandom. It's only a couple of days away. Jump down into the comments section below and let me John, know your thoughts. Yes. Can you tell the people out there, just in case they are not familiar with DC Fandom, how they can participate in DC oh. Fandom or how they can watch it? Oh, that's that's a very good thing to bring up. Okay, so for those of you who may not know, you might just be hearing about this a lot. Just go to dcfandom.com. There you go. And actually, I've got the schedule up here, which is at schedule.dcfandom.com. But it's simply dcfandom.com. Once you get there, you'll be able to see when you can uh, tune in and watch it. It's going to be all streamed for free. You don't have it's all free. This big event. Uh, so again, that's dcfandom.com. Go there, set your reminders, put it in your calendar, and that's how you're going to be able to go and see that. Thank you for reminding me of that, Aaron. You're very welcome. All right, guys. With all that down and out.